Hey there, it's your favorite redneck preppy from Steve M Outdoors and today we're going to look at what makes up the field and cleaning kit of the Lung Mun AG42B rifle, Sweden's first semi-automatic rifle to go into service. Now incidentally if you're interested in the history of the AG42B rifle there will be a link to a video that I did last year at the end of this video. Now there are two versions of the field kit. Uh, the first was originally issued in about 1942 with the AG-42 rifle and then a slightly different version was issued starting in about 1953 when the rifle was updated into the AG-42B pattern. Now today I'm going to look at the latter pattern but I will address at the end of the video the differences between the two kits. So why the video? Well, each rifle when issued came with the field kit, but I've noticed in recent years that the kit is actually often missing. Now, there are probably a few reasons for that. Uh, the owner misplaced or lost the kit, or they sold it off. Um, I also have a theory, uh, a little more conspiratorial, is that a lot of gun dealers are recognizing that they can sell the rifle without the kit for the same price as they can with a kit, so they separate the two and the kit becomes a source of extra revenue. It is a bit odious in my mind, but here we are. Now all that said, a lot of people own the rifle, but they've never actually seen the kit and they don't know what's inside of it. Now there's not much in the way of videos or concrete writing on the kit on the internet, shockingly. So I figure I'd fill in that little crack. At any rate, let's get into it. Now, as you can see, the kit itself comes up in a canvas roll that's tied up. Now, once you open it up, you are presented with a number of little pockets. Now, on a side note, when you will see that the contents of my kit are all wrapped in wax paper. If anyone tells you that that is proof that this is an unissued kit, or even a rifle, because you'll fi often find rifles coming in wax paper, their parts and all that stuff. They're going to tell you that, you know, that's absolute proof that this is an unissued uh, example. And, uh, you know, they're either telling you that because they're misinformed or they're trying to inflate the value. It, look, it doesn't mean that it's unissued. It could just as easily been into storage after a healthy dose of grease and oil wrapped up in the wax paper in order to protect and preserve it for whenever it was needed. Now that said, let's start from the right and move to the left. Now first you are, sorry, hit the camera there, you're going to see a double cell container. This uh, basically in one reservoir held the weapons grease and in the other it held. I think I might have reversed that, but they're both identical. Held your standard bore brush for the rifle. Now this is empty outside of some sort of really old grease that's in there, so I'm not going to bother opening it up. However, that's what you're looking at here. So a double cell container, one for the bore brush, one for the weapons grease. In pocket number two, you will see a single salt container. And in this one, it is your bog standard oil container. And again, there's nothing in here. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Oh, no, there's nothing in here. So that one contained your weapons oil. Moving right along, you will see the brass chamber tool pretty self-explanatory there. Now here's where it starts to get a little more interesting. This next one is a little wrench. A multi-purpose wrench at that. Uh, you will see at the end here a standard screwdriver bit, but there are various other little tools, notches, and the like, which will allow you to adjust the, you know, the gas system or the sights. It's uh, very quite handy to have, especially for the sights, because, uh, you know, uh, it was set for the military standard ammunition. If you're a reloader like me, 
you may have to realign the sights for your preferred load or whatever commercial ammunition you prefer to fire out of your AG42B. Now, the star of the kit. This is the thing that most people are covetous for, and that is, this is a little kit of spare parts. Now I'm going to overlay a big picture of this, but uh, you can see here there's a spare firing pin, there's an extractor, there's a number of little pins, small little spare parts. Um, the most valuable is probably is the extractor and the spare firing pin. Now I think it's the most interesting um, aspect of the field kit, and the reason why I think that this is the most as uh, interesting aspect, uh, is the fact that the Swedes were smart enough to recognize that not every repair needed to be sent back to the armor to be performed, that the average gun could change out, let's say, the firing pin if they'd already been trained on how to do a field strip with a rifle for cleaning. You know, allowing them to perform these more basic repairs kept the rifle out in the field for a longer period, which, I don't know, in my mind is pretty darn smart. And that's it. That is your basic repair and maintenance kit for the AG42B rifle. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that there were some slight differences between the AG42 and AG42B field kits, and here what they are. Now, AG42B field kits, their canvas roll on the back right here had a badge which says AGM42B. The older ones, like this one, had no badge at all. Now, as you can see from my roll, given that there's no badge or even an attachment point, because there would have been two kind of grommets here holding the badge on the other side, um, this leads me to believe that this particular roll may have been either an earlier first pattern that they pulled out of stock to use with the updated fuel kit, or this kit in itself is just a mix master. It's impossible to know. Uh, the second difference is that the older kit didn't come with a single cell fuel bottle, but it did come with a broken shell extractor and a blank fire adapter. Now why that change, may they made that change, I don't know, and I haven't been able to determine, but having that broken shell extractor in the updated rifles kit would have been pretty darn useful actually, at least for us reloaders these days. And there you are, a dive very quick into the AG42B's field and cleaning kit. Uh, they seem to be getting harder to find and their prices are going up. Uh, up here in Canada in the last year or two, I've seen prices anywhere from $40 to $80. While in the United States, about $50 seems to be the going rate. Uh, in either country, I really would not pay more than $50 or $60 unless it's something you absolutely cannot live without. However, that said, Having a spare extractor and a spare firing pin would probably be very valuable to you if you know you broke yours. Uh, at any rate, that's it for today. If, as always, if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, please feel free to give it a like and share it. Uh, if you want to watch more videos about this sort of thing and also care for fishing and Jeeps and outdoors and all that stuff, you know, you can subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, finally, below in the description you can find links to both my twi Twitter and Facebook pages where you'll find in the field reports and longer form essays on whatever it is I happen to be doing at the time. My friends, may all your shots ring true and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.